Airborne wind technology is a rapidly evolving field with several promising contenders vying for a top spot. While it's difficult to definitively rank them in a strict order, here are five of the most exciting technologies pushing the boundaries and capturing industry attention. The last one is the most unique among them, so make sure you watch until the end to see it. Skysails are a German company, bringing wind power to new heights with giant kites. They harness strong, high-altitude winds to generate clean energy for ships, islands, and remote areas. Think wind power, but sky-high and kite-powered. Airborne wind energy systems harness the so far untapped powerful resource of high-altitude wind at altitudes of up to 400 meters. For energy production, the automatically controlled power kite rises in figures of eight, driven by the wind. As it gains altitude, it unwinds a tether from a winch on the ground. The tractive force drives a generator inside the winch that produces electricity. Once the tether has reached its maximum extension of 800 meters, the autopilot steers the kite into a neutral position with minimal drag and lift. While consuming only a fraction of the energy generated before, the generator now acts as a motor and reels in the tether. The system continuously repeats this process, flying the kite at an altitude of 200 to 400 meters. Energy generated by the airborne wind energy system can be fed into the grid, stored in batteries, or directly consumed. SkySails launched a pilot project in Mauritius to showcase the technology's viability in providing clean energy to island nations heavily reliant on fossil fuels. This project aims to prove the system's effectiveness and pave the way for wider adoption in the region. Kite Mill are pioneers in high-altitude wind energy, harnessing powerful winds above conventional turbines. Think giant kites, generating clean electricity. They aim to revolutionize wind power, using less material and reducing costs. Based in Norway, they're leaders in this emerging renewable energy technology. Founded in 2008, Kite Mill uses a sailplane drone as the kite component in its KM-1 system, relying on four propellers for taking off and landing. Once airborne, the ground station ensures optimal energy production as it controls the kite and the winch, with sensors on the kite providing data points for the control system to steer and balance the aircraft. The tether is made using braided polyethene fibers, which allow for high-end durability while maintaining a low diameter, which is important for maximizing energy transfer. According to Kite Mill, AWE is suitable for many more locations than traditional wind energy and requires significantly fewer materials. However, the ground station for the KM-1 pilot plant is just 20 kilowatts, meaning vast fleets of kites would be required to match the output of the most powerful turbines. Kite Mill said AWE can offer an alternative as prime sites for wind farms become scarcer. A recent report from BVG, commissioned by Kitty Mill, estimated that cumulative global deployment of AWE could reach 5 gigawatts by 2035 and 177 gigawatts by 2050. Operating at heights between 300 and 500 meters, we are able to unlock vast areas of high-capacity wind power, ensuring a stable energy output, said Horklau. As such, our technology is viable in many more sites compared to established wind technology. This will be an especially important factor in years to come as countries struggle to source suitable wind farm locations. Kite Power is a Dutch startup that harnesses wind with tethered kites aiming to replace polluting diesel in remote areas and revolutionize wind energy with lighter mobile systems. Kite Power is a leading startup in airborne wind energy, AWE, developing innovative and cost-effective alternatives to existing wind turbines. Kite Power's patented technology is a game changer in the wind energy sector. Kite Power uses up to 90% less material with the potential of being twice as efficient than conventional wind turbines with the same power output. Unlike conventional wind turbines, kite power systems do not require resource-intensive towers nor heavy foundations and are thus highly mobile and easy to deploy. 
the system is able to harness stronger and more persistent winds at higher altitudes, allowing for capacity factors greater than 0.5 and cost-effective electricity generation in return. Kite Power's leading product, the Kite Power Falcon, is specially designed to allow remote communities worldwide to mitigate dependency on polluting and expensive diesel supply. Enerkite is a German company utilizing wind power with high-flying kites, providing twice the power of turbines and targeting rural electricity needs. Their system is based on wine-catching kites pulling a rope. During the so-called harvesting phase, the wing flies eight-shaped paths in the wind. This produces large forces, says Enerkite, as the rope pulls from the drums of the ground station, setting them in motion. A generator converts this rotation of the drums into electricity. As soon as the kite reaches the rope's end, it glides back to its initial height, which the company claims is higher than any solid turbine. The tethers are rewound with minimal energy input, and the cycle repeats again. Enerkite is the highest yielding airborne wind energy concept currently under development, so the website. The company's lead industrial designer is a former world champion in speed kiting, Christian Gebhardt. He co-founded the company in 2016 with a crowdfunding campaign. Enerkite is now working towards the first product stage, the EK200. One of the investors in this innovation is Volkswagen. Brainware, a Swiss company in the developmental phase, specializes in high-altitude wind turbines tailored for jet stream regions. The airborne wind power technology they employ utilizes vertical systems reminiscent of tethered kites to generate clean energy at elevated altitudes characterized by consistently strong winds. Beyond energy production, Brainware envisions their technology as high-altitude pseudo-satellites, providing communication and internet access in remote regions. With a mission centered on delivering renewable energy and internet connectivity to underserved areas, particularly those unsuitable for traditional wind farms, Brainware seeks to complement existing wind infrastructure and offer off-grid solutions. Actively engaging in partnerships and collaborations during their development phase, Brainware aims to demonstrate the potential of their technology and is currently pursuing additional partnerships and investments for broader deployment. Key elements of Brainware's work include their unique focus on high-altitude technology, the dual-purpose functionality of energy generation and communication, and a specific emphasis on off-grid solutions. In essence, Brainware offers a distinctive approach to renewable energy and connectivity, targeting underserved regions with a dual-purpose functionality. In existing airborne systems, the generator functions as a motor during takeoff, landing, or when bridging weak wind periods. These systems utilize some generated energy to reach higher altitudes, but they face limitations due to cable weight when operating in crosswinds. Vertical airborne system of systems, as developed by Brainware, are better suited for individuals living off-grid, relying primarily on fuel-based generators to meet their energy needs.